I do believe human activity is contributing to global warming. The question is how much and what are the costs uh, to uh, reduce that human activity uh, versus the benefits. And uh, that's what we examine on a case-by-case -case basis when various proposals uh, come before us. So it's not a blanket statement that it's worth, for example, spending, uh, bankrupting the country to deal with uh, one solution. Um, we want to weigh uh, the costs versus the benefits, always, of every proposal. But you did vote for the climate bill last year, which put a cap-and-trade system on carbon emissions and also set mandatory reductions. Was that the right policy, do you think? Yes, I think it's important that we, number one, reduce our dependence on foreign sources of energy, especially oil. Um, so we needed to uh, give incentives to those who were developing alternative sources of energy uh, other than oil, uh, foreign oil. Uh, I thought it was important that we provide incentives for the domestic production of um, to some degree oil, but also natural gas and wind and solar and the biofuels and uh, other alternative sources of energy and nuclear. Um, if it's safe and we can make it safe, then we ought to pursue that. And that was in the bill as well. So I'm open to what makes sense and what works to pull us away from our reliance on foreign uh, sources of oil and the use of oil entirely because I think um, uh, that would be healthier for the planet, healthier for our lungs and our children's lungs, and healthier for our national security not to be dependent on these foreign sources of energy. Um, again, how much to spend uh, is always the key question, uh, and how quickly to spend it. And um, I'm looking forward to the Senate uh, coming up with its version of an energy bill. Uh, my mind is open to the best ideas, so if they have better ideas or if they're unable to go as far as we went, uh, I just want to move the country forward in a common sense, smart way, but move the country forward.